Shannon and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be filming my go-to makeup routine. This is not necessarily my everyday makeup routine, this is just my go-to makeup routine and my favourite products and stuff that if I'm going out shopping or like just generally just going out, this is just my go-to routine which I absolutely love to wear. So this is sort of like a favourites video, like a full face of my favourite makeup sort of thing. If you like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And let's just get into the video. Okay guys, so first off I like to prime my face and I start off by using the Mario Podescu Priming Water. This is just sort of a really nice priming water just to get my face a bit of moisture as well. So it's my absolute favourite product ever and this is the NYX Photo Loving Primer which is an amazing dupe for the Smashbox Primer which is like the green one and because I have quite red toned skin this is quite sort of nice for my skin like it sort of colour corrects it really really nicely. It's a very very silicone primer though so if you're not into that sort of stuff then this probably isn't for you but for me I really like it for my red sort of skin and yeah this gives me like a really nice sort of soft base really nice to apply foundation going into foundation just want to add i have just done my eyebrows as you could probably already tell and i use the anastasia beverly hills dip brow pomade i never use anything else foundation i actually use two foundations i have got a slight tan at the moment but the foundation i'm going to be using i have loads of shades in so it is my like go-to foundation basically but I'm going to start off with the Iconic London Pigment Stick and I really like this just for like a really nice base. It also helps sort of get rid of redness and gives that me that extra bit of coverage which I like love having. And this is in the shade 0.1 and obviously this is a bit pale for me now but it also, because the foundation I have is also quite dark, it sort of neutralises it all out if you like and this just gives me an extra bit of coverage which I absolutely love. And get rid of that spot <laughs> but I don't blend this out I literally just go on top of it with my foundation so the foundation I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal True Match this is in the shade 6.5 D slash 6.5 W Caramel Door or Golden Toffee this is so dark because usually I'm literally like a 2 Another thing I absolutely love doing is wetting my beauty blend up with my priming spray. I don't know why, but it's just, one, because I can't bother to go and actually wet it, but two, it actually, like, does give that extra bit of prime as well. I feel like I'm sort of priming my skin as well, but yeah, on the back of my hand. I don't know if you can tell from when I first applied that to that and how it blends in with the pigment stick. It does give a really nice colour for my skin like matches my neck quite well I never usually really tan that much guys but I tanned the other day because my friend had like a party and honestly I absolutely love it the tan I used was the Scent Tropez Mist it was like a spray and then you rubbed it in and honestly it looked absolutely awful like, I've never tanned my own before it looked really bad when I first piled it literally went in the shower the next day and oh my god it looks amazing like literally looks so bad and so patchy before but after I went in the shower it was literally a whole new me so now I feel like I'm gonna love tanning so much more now so I just love having a tan I feel like having a tan just brings up like I don't know I, just, I feel like I just love having a tan I don't know if you can tell but this foundation is honestly so nice like I literally have it in like three different shades because it is so nice Okay guys, so that is my foundation done and I really really love it. This foundation just gives like a nice glow, it's not too mattifying, it's a nice dewy finish which I really love because I do have some matte foundations and it's just, I don't know why, sometimes I like my makeup being really matte and other times I absolutely hate it, but at the moment I'm really loving like the nice sort of dewier finish. So next off we're going to be going in with concealer and this is a concealer which everyone has been raving about at the moment and this is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define and honestly I know why people have been raving about it, it is honestly such a nice concealer. This is probably a tiny bit pale but I do like my concealers to be really really brightening so I guess it won't, shouldn't be too bad. This is going to be a lot more of a highlighting concealer for me obviously because I've got a tan but it should be cool. I'm just going to blend that all in with my beauty blender. 
And my face is all nice and concealed. I'm now going to go in with my cream contouring. And I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. This is a very hit or miss. Sometimes I like doing it. Most of the time I just can't be bothered. But I've been really loving it recently. And I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics 115 brush. Just to sort of do the contour part. Like I say, this is very hit or miss with this. And I've just mixed all three of the contour shades together. I just like doing this as a bit more of a base for my contour and then obviously I go over with the powder. Toward my face, I'm going to go in with the Iconic London Pigment Stick again and I'm just going to go down each side just down here just to sort of sharpen it because this side's a bit more messy you know and obviously when I powder this side isn't too bad actually but when I powder obviously it will, won't be such a harsh line but I just like doing it just to sort of clean it up a bit I feel like my face is looking so shiny right now. Girl, we need to powder me up. Put up, contour me up. So I'm going to be going in with the middle shade and the bottom shade here. I'm going to be going in with my BH Cosmetics brush in number three, which is a really nice angled brush. And that's been loving using this at the moment. This is just going to set my cream contour into place really, really nicely. I just love having a tan, you guys. It honestly gives, makes me feel like I've got such a nice glow going on. Put that in place. I'm going to mix the banana powder with that powder just because I don't want it to be too yellow. And the brush I'm going to be going in with is this BH Cosmetics brush in number two. This is really nice because it's got quite a nice sort of flat end, but it's really, really soft as well. Powdered and done. I'm gonna go in with highlighter. I'm using the Sofa X Revolution highlighting palette, and I'm going to brush. I think I'm gonna use this Royal Techniques brush just because I like it's like a nice packing on highlight color. And I'm gonna be going in with this end shade here, which is a lot more bronzer. I feel like because I've got a nice tan. I feel like I can get away with using that one. I think I might blend it in a bit with the one underneath as well. That's the only other good thing about having a tan as well. You can use darker sort of shades in this palette, so yes. Girl, look at that glow. So pretty. So pretty. Go in with some mascara, and this is the Rimmel Volume Extra Volume Flash Mascara and I've actually been really really liking this. This is quite a thick mascara and I'm not Okay, I'm not a 100% fan of the wand, but I'm a very much fan of the mascara It's so volumizing and I thought because this is my like favorite sort of video This is my go-to mascara and I sort of wanted to feature this instead of putting on lashes and stuff Just purely because my lashes are super super volumizing and this isn't a really going out on a night out look This is more of like a just an day to day basis look and I feel like you just can't be bothered to put lashes on all the time So this is a really 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 nice mascara. So I'm gonna curl on my lashes now because the curl lash just gives me give me that extra. I'm also quite blessed with quite long eyelashes as well. So if you don't have like extra long eyelashes, I get why you'd wear lashes more. But because I'm quite blessed with really long eyelashes, I do sometimes like to just wear mascara. However, one thing I will say is that these lashes are so much more separated. Like work with mascara so much more better than these ones. These ones are just a bit more, I don't know. It's like I've got two completely different sets of eyelashes on my eyes. Does any of you guys get that? Okay, so I thought I'd zoom in a bit just so you can sort of see the mascara. This is the wand. It is a bit, sort of does sometimes clump up the mascara a bit, but you know, this mascara is literally five pounds, so I'm literally not even gonna complain. <laughs> That 
look how volumizing that mascara is. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like I literally just drinks it. I literally curled these lashes like a tiny bit different to how I used like usually do, and they actually look really similar to these. I feel like as literally I just said, like these lashes go really bad compared to these, but they've actually gone really, really similar today. I'm not too sure how you can see how volumizing that mascara is, and it was literally five pounds, you guys. And I really, really love it. Okay, my lovelies, now we're gonna go in with the lips. And the lips I love, love, love to use, which you guys know very much so for my first sort of videos, is my Primark Lip Crayons. And this is such a nice pinky nude as well, like for the day. Just for like a nice sort of pinky nude. And I absolutely love these Primark Lip Crayons. so much this doesn't actually have a shade name on it so i will just show you like what sort of color it is oh my god guys look at my nails look how nice they are they're really really pointy though everyone keeps asking me don't stab them with them i work in a pub as well though so i'm really scared i'm gonna be like when i get someone's change <laughs> okay you gorgeous bunch this is the finished look and oh my gosh i absolutely love it so much like, I would do this if I didn't have a tan. Like, I would just use a lighter foundation shade. I would still use the Iconic Pigment Stick as a base. And I would literally just use a lighter shade. This is one of the light shades I have. I do have one shade lighter than this as well. But I just want to, like, show you guys up close. Like, I feel like the cream contour just gives that extra bit of, like, boom definition. A bit more deeper as well. But I'm absolutely loving the highlight as well. I love being able to use a bit of a darker sort of glowier highlight as well. I just feel like, I just don't know if you guys can tell, I just love being tan. I feel like it just gives me a really nice like glow. My lovelies, like I said, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!